expanded form for decimals. Expanding a number is a way to show how much each digit represents based on the place of that digit in the number. Just like expanding whole numbers by determining the values of the non-zero digits, then writing a plus sign between those values, we can also expand decimal numbers. Suppose we have this number. How do we write it in expanded form? Since we have a whole number part, we expand it in the same way we learned before. We have 75. 7 is in the tens place, so its value is 70. And 5 is in the ones place, so its value is just 5. Now we write a plus sign between them to get 70 plus 5. Great! We finished expanding the whole number part. Let us now move on to the decimal part. In a similar way, we look for the digits that are not equal to zero. Then, we write the value of each depending on its decimal place. Here, 3 is in the tenths place. Can you tell its value? It is 3 tenths, which we write as 3 in the numerator and 10 in the denominator. We also have 4 in the thousandths place, so its value is 4 thousandths, which we write as 4 in the numerator and 1,000 in the denominator. The zero in the hundredths place is ignored. Now we write plus signs between these values to get the full expansion of the decimal part. Finally, to write the complete expanded form of the number, we add the decimal expansion to the whole number expansion, and we get 70 plus 5 plus 3 tenths plus 4 thousandths. Sometimes we may find a number written in expanded form, such as this one. How do we write it in numbers? This is simple. Just start with the numbers that have no denominator. These will make up the whole number part. 30 has one zero, so it is in the tens place. And 1 has no zeros, so it is in the ones place. Now we have 31 in the whole number part. And you can see we have a fraction. So we write a decimal point, because a fraction is represented in the decimal part. Since the denominator of the fraction is 1,000, which is 10 to the power 3, we need three decimal places. But in which decimal place do we write 8, the numerator? Just ask yourself. How many zero digits do I need after the decimal point to get a total of three digits, if I already have one digit? Your answer should be two zero digits, because two zero digits plus one digit, the eight, gives us three digits. So we write a zero in the tenths place, and a zero in the hundredths place, and the eight goes into the thousandths place. And this is the final number, 31 and eight thousandths. In this lesson, you learned how to convert between base 10 numerals and expanded form for decimal numbers 
up to thousands.